Now that fish was right at the base. If you can catch it there, there's a stone wall that comes in and that fish was relating right parallel to that stone wall. Well, as you can see now, the wind picked up and uh, it makes it now very difficult to uh, get feedback from the jig. Typically, uh, when that happens, I'll go up in size a little bit just to maintain better bottom contact and feel. Um, especially since these fish have been biting extremely lightly today. A lot of those, um, what I call again, pressure hits, there hasn't been any uh, definitive thunks, which again, makes it that much more difficult for when the wind picks up. The other problem with a heavier jig is that uh, the fish tend to expel heavier jigs quicker than they do lighter jigs. What's the temperature look like in here? Uh, it hasn't gone up right now, it's 56.8. Fish on. That feels like a nice fish. Just swallow the jig. <laughs> swallow it, I mean, down in the gullet. That's another nice three and a half pound. Look at the belly on that. What a healthy, beautiful fish. Gorgeous. That fish was right where it was supposed to be, right by that tree. But what you can't see is that tree comes out to 15 feet of water and there's, uh, it extends all the way back. So this is one of the inlets from here where you have uh, fresh water coming in from there and from there. But as I, I'm, I'm looking at the temperature and I see that uh, we haven't increased, but I, I don't see the water coming in as well. Usually you can hear it. It's like a little mini Niagara Falls type of thing. The wind has certainly picked up. We don't have those flat calm conditions like we did in the morning. Good for the fish, bad for the boater. And bad for the microphone. And bad for the microphone. <laughs> we have some nice brush coming up here, but more importantly, which I'm, I'm sure you can't see from your angle, we have a stone wall coming in off that point right past the brush. Primarily as the season progresses, uh, you have some very heavy weed growth right here, which is a phenomenal area with the stone wall running in between the weeds. So that's that wall that's going up into yes, the woods and that, goes, that follows into the, into the water? Yes. This was all farmland at one time. So you have plenty of stone walls that zigzag across the lake. Um, many are visual, such as the one that you're seeing here. But of course, the best ones are the ones that are not visual. They're the ones that are running parallel to the shore. How do you find those? Those are, uh, those are the ones that you key on your electronics and uh, when the water levels are down. But typically, um, just a little common knowledge when it comes to stone walls, generally, Stone wall stops somewhere and they go in the opposite direction. So you'll get a 90 degree. So it may come out to the middle of the lake or somewhere, and then it'll either go north or south, or depending on whichever way the, the land was 
divided. There we go. That's a nice fish. That's another nice three and a half pound fish. Look at that belly. Ooh, look at that belly. Amazing little footballs. Look how beautiful, healthy that fish is. Oh yeah, okay. sweet success. Ooh. 